Washington State's Public Records Act became law through legislative action because the people, not the government, should be in control of public information that affects them. The preamble to this state law makes the declarative statement, the people of the state do not yield their sovereignty to the agencies which serve them. The people in delegating authority do not give their public servants the right to decide what is good for the people to know and what is not good for them to know. The people insist on remaining informed so they may maintain control over the instruments they have created. Idealistic? Yes. Without exceptions? No. The Washington Coalition for Open Government has created this information program to detail what the public records laws are intended to do, what they actually do, and how both affect your life. Government-held information is essentially yours. Getting access to it is your lawful right. The Public Records Act was born as a result of overwhelming voter support of a citizen's initiative in 1972. The portion of that initiative dealing with public records was moved to its own statute in 2006. The original initiative, the Public Disclosure Act, essentially focused on the public's right to access information related to electioneering and candidates' fundraising and expenditures. It continues today and is administered by an appointed commission subject to Open Public Meetings Law and the Public Records Act. The public's right to know, to access information, is unyielding, but it takes an informed and engaged public to make accessibility, to retain transparency in government, really work. By themselves, laws don't assure accountability of, responsibility for, and accessibility to our government institutions, employees, and public elected officers. Your involvement does. Below on this web page are links to essential resources that detail the laws and their effect on your life, answer your questions on access, that explains how to obtain public records, what it may cost, what agencies must do to conform to your request. What I offer here is a summary of Washington's Public Records Act and how to make it work for you. There are a host of exemptions to our records law and other state laws beyond this act which limit your access to records. Originally, when we voters established our open records law, there were a mere 10 exemptions. Now there are hundreds spread throughout numerous other state laws beyond the act created by our legislature in 2006. The complete PRA is accessed via the web link posted at the bottom of this page. A complete listing of other statutes limiting records access is also posted below. If lost or in doubt while searching these links, give a shout. We'll help you find answers and links to fit your interests. Also, note the index at left on this page to guide you to subsegments on records accessibility that we've crafted to offer more specific detail to the generalities and summary offered here. Let's begin. Access to public records is your right, so the public record statute claims anyway. Each session of our legislature seems to pile on more limits to accessibility. Regardless, you have the responsibility to make your government accountable to you. Let's look at ways you can make this work despite the limitations. An oversimplification of public records accessibility, simply put, is to assume all records are disclosable. Most are. The agency holding the records has the burden of figuring out whether certain documents or elements within a requested document are exempt from disclosure, and the agency must specifically tell you what exemptions applies to withheld records. The agency is responsible for blacking out just those parts that are exempt, but you get the rest. Making a request for documents in any form or format is easy. Just ask. Some agencies invite you to fill out a form so specific requests can be easily satisfied, but you don't have to provide any reason for your request or even your name or identifying information unless you want copies emailed or mailed to you. There are costs associated with a public records request, and a subsegment of this summary will specifically detail that process. When you can request records for personal, while you can request records for personal use, you cannot get them for commercial use, such as solicitation or marketing enterprises. All of our state and local government offices must comply with the Records Act. Yes, there are exceptions, but very limited. 
For example, our state courts are not covered by the PRA, but in Washington, our court records are accessible through other types of laws, like the common law. We're not just talking about paper records here. You have the right to access any and all records, including digital, video, phone, and paper. And while you may request records in person, by mail, by email, and by phone, making a formal paper or online request creates a paper trail in insisting an agency uh, and keeping it accountable to you. Agencies have five working days to respond to your request, but getting the records you want may take longer. The agency has to give you a timeline for making these requests avail records available, but you should have little or no difficulty getting digital records, and the cost should not be great, including providing them to you in digital format on disk or by email. Property tax records, for example, are easily and freely accessed through your county assessor's or treasurer's website. On the other hand, a death certificate or even information about a person's death comes through the state's Department of Health and may include an $8 search fee and a $20 certified copy fee. You cannot even look at such records for free sometimes. Our public records law makes the cost of copies easily affordable, but additional costs to search and accumulate a substantial number of records may come at a much higher total cost to you. Ask the agency for these costs before having it search and make copies for you. Work with an agency to focus on what you need, even if you decide to tell them what you want and why. Agency public records officers are available to help not hinder your access to records. If an agency denies your request, it must do so specifically, citing an appropriate exemption. Exemptions. There are now more than 100 in the Public Records Act itself, and more than 400 spread throughout our state's laws. While these exemptions don't affect all agencies, there is a dilemma among agencies in figuring out what is disclosable and what is exempt. Fortunately, there is no penalty for an agency disclosing an exempt record, so long as it was acting in good faith. Most exemptions relate to personal and corporate privacy. Some relate to health, safety, and security matters, all specifically explained. Some relate to criminal investigations or legal proceedings in which an agency is involved, or research data collected by the state and matters that court determines are not in the public interest. However, get back to our opening comment. Assume all records are public. Make your request, then deal with the exemptions as they apply. The coalition staff is prepared to assist you in getting answers to questions or a referral to a human resource who specializes in areas of your concern. We welcome such inquiries. And we have provided the means to post comments related to each segment. A simple registration process is all that's needed to join the conversation.